Start off with the Central Bank of Kenya, which is raising concern over the interest rate cap of 2016, which it believes has slowed down credit uptake in the economy, thus hurting a majority of small businesses. As our reporter Abu Bakr Abdullahi explains, the CBK governor, Dr. Patrick Njoroge, says that the inflation rate is set to rise but will remain within the target. The 2016 Red Cup sought to bring down the cost of lending as the government reined in on banks that were on profit-making spree at the expense of borrowers. The pricing of interest on loans were capped at 14%. According to the central bank, this is having a negative effect on the economy and the governor has now changed his stance. And we've explained in quite elaborate, uh, quite elaborately, the impact of these interest rate caps, and I'm sure you've seen it yourselves. We continue to insist that the interest rate caps are struggling the economy. I would want to say they are strangling the economy. The recently passed finance bill, which had an 8% value added tax on fuel, is also expected to raise the country's inflation rate by one point, even as CBK says inflation will remain within its target of 5 to 7.5%. But the inflation outlook remains well anchored, uh, with, uh, but there are some lingering concerns about the fuel and energy prices. So in August, uh, inflation was, was at 4%, as you know, uh, but fuel inflation actually uh, was at 14.2%. The regulator has indicated it will enhance surveillance and the banks that are complicit in corruption-related cases will not be spared. Abu Bakr Abdullahi for KTN News. Now on to clothes. The second-hand market has been blamed for the collapse of Kenya's textile industry. Now, you know that the cheap, trendy second-hand clothes have taken over. In this uh, week's episode of Women in Business, Mary Wangui Waititu narrates her journey since she started selling mitumba in 2005. Right at the heart of one of Kenya's busiest open air markets. Walking back to her past life, Mary started off as a vegetable vendor in Kericho, a business she finds pride in. Together with her husband, a serial trader, the venture has helped them raise their five children. <laughs> The good memories of her Mitumba business drags her back to 1992 when her family was forced to relocate to Nairobi. An emotional Mary says, Tukaja tuka survive wapa madhare, 93, nikaasa kuusa skuma. Sasa nilipo, asa nikaona niko na pesa kidogo, kama 40,000. She secured a loan of 100000 to build her business. Years later, three of her children have now followed in her footsteps, setting up shops right in Gekomba. This business, it, uh, it came from my mom because we found her doing, dealing with this business. And so we just adapted it from her. And uh, we just saw the business is good and we just continued. Paul, I'm a governor, Paul Anita governor. Paul Waititu is the fourth born of the family. His story is different from his brother. He joined the business after high school five years ago. Like any other business, being a trader comes with challenges. To avoid being roughed up by county scaries, she acquired her license. Profits depend on the number of customers visiting a stall during the day. Her encouragement to women is that anything is doable. When you look around, you will definitely identify with what you can start and grow it to something worth admiring. I advice wa mama kama mimi, mutu wa sijitharao. Ata ukiwa na kitu yako kidogo, ujue hiyo kidogo kinaesa kukupatia kubwa. Sababu nikona experience ya kuona kutoka kwangu. Sababu niliasa hii biyashara kama sina.
Now, moving on to research in business management, it is identified as one of the key pillars that assists organizations in making plans on how to become more viable in their fields. At the same time, research supports marketers as it contributes to their business growth. These were some of the key areas of discussion as marketers met earlier today to chart the way forward on the future of advertising delivered the, the insights, um, there are cases where some of that information is just shelved and then you come back the following year you find it's the same, the same, same issue. Uh, for example, if they wanted to, to grow the, the sales, they wanted to grow their market share, they wanted to, to develop their positioning in the market, uh, some of that then, this, this process then gives us the opportunity to listen um, and be sure that um, at the end of the day uh, we are impacting uh, their business. Research does help. Uh, individuals make decisions. Uh, you know, any a commercial business looks at um, the bottom line, satisfying customers. We are thinking about uh, what kind of products will be acceptable in the market, and all this. And with that, that uh, brings us to the end of the business news tonight. My name is Malika Kazia, wishing you a wonderful Wednesday night.